Okay. See, what are the receivable activity adjustment bank error they given receivable activity. See, other than the normal transaction type, these are all few. Like adjustment entries were all come under receivable activity, like bank charges, interest income. You can create it, okay? You can read it. What all uh, you want to? Yeah. This generic only. So till now you have any doubt, you have to read one thing. Receivable having more theoretical thing. Okay. You have to read once all the theory, then you will have the idea. Okay. Then only you will understand uh, well, because it is a day-to-day -day activity. Receivable is not uh, it's not like uh, it's a pure uh, technical thing. It's a day-to-day -day business what we come across. Okay. Like that you can correlate receivable class say receipt class and receipt method you have to link it with the bank see well, you will create a bank and attach to the receipt class and then to the receipt method how to create these are all old practically doing you will understand see and receipt method you will associate a bank account then when you create a receipt automatically the amount goes to the bank okay Application rules, how it is function at the bank and cross currency receipt we see. The cross currency accounting, how they are doing. They, if there is a rounding account 0 0.01, 0 0.02, if you have configured a rounding account, it's done. Like that, okay. And profile option. Profile option. Okay. In the receipt tax it has come tax and all you can read it is differing according to the country okay uh, you can read and come back the main thing is the different stages of receipt you know right reconciling receipt okay A reconciliation i given in my know see what is unapplied receipt applied what is unidentified better all you know Hello. Uh, yes, sir. You know, no, I have to huh? You know, unidentified this and all. Sir, I you, remember reading, but uh, can you kind of confusing now? Can I you hear me correctly? I don't think. Okay. Hello. Can ah, you see my Excel sheet? It's audible. Can you see my Excel sheet? Yeah, yeah, sure. Excel sheet. No, sir. So, now you can see the Excel sheet. My internet is a bit slow, sir. Okay, mine also. Sir, can you see the Excel sheet? Yeah, yeah. So the short term debt, no, sir. Yeah. And yeah. see, receipt. See, first, when you create a receipt manually, it goes to unidentified status. In unidentified, you don't know the customer. Okay. Unidentified is customer not identified. No, you didn't identify the customer. Once you identify the customer, if customer, okay, you create a receipt and you know give this customer X, okay, it goes to where? Unapplied status. What is unapplied? You know the customer, you don't know which invoice to apply. There are multiple invoices. You don't know. Invoice to apply, you don't know. Okay? You can see my Excel, right? Correct. Okay. Now, third thing. Third is applied. Okay. You know the customer. You know what invoice applied and you applied the amount that is called applied. It is a final status. Okay. Okay. So what do you mean by on account? See, suppose the customer. 
existing customers is it yeah Cust the invoice yeah. to apply is given 10000 applied is 9990 this is 10 rupees will be uh, pending in the unapplied so instead of erasing the unapplied you put in the on account is a temporary account 10 so it is a temporary parking account this is known as on account okay so each stage there will be accounting entry generated okay initially debit what comes in unnamed right so debit what comes in bank to unidentified customer unidentified to unapplied finally this comes to bank okay okay overall you understood the receivable process yes, how it flows right yes. okay these are all so detailed in my notes yeah yes, tomorrow sir. also there uh, i'll say cash management. cash management okay and close that okay. so you want, you have to show it in the system sorry one minute one minute you, please you were supposed to show the setup process sir, one minute 